It's because it's part of the process, okay? And I've seen John Singer Sargent paintings where pencil line is showing. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't worry about it. I try to get now some of these pencil lines that I have, I've written like D for dark, because if I get into my right brain uh -huh. really thoroughly, I can miss the fact that that's going to be a cast shadow. And so I give myself little letter oh, uh -huh. acknowledgments. And I do so want to. So you do it paint by numbers? It's kind of, <laughs> no, it's paint by letters. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back into this and put the cast shadow in. Still my heart. All right, let's see what this does. I think it's going to be very neutral because that's. So I'm going to put a little more rose matter genuine. Ooh, that's going to be lovely. And maybe I'm just going to go right. Yeah, I am. I just did it. I guess I am. So you see, I'm not. I'm gonna, I just felt the need to put in some cobalt blue pure there. Not sure why. What I'm doing right now is just playing in the paint. This is my favorite part of painting, watching right here. And just laying it in and saying, let it. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, that is pretty nice. I'm, I like to think of myself as kind of the director of this symphony mm -hmm. that's going on. I'm the director, but the paints are the players. They get to show the way. So now, watching how it's moving, I can make a suggestion and then wait and watch. And it's the watching that captivates me with watercolor. Uh, mm, there's just nothing more beautiful. And it depends on which paint you're using to yes. determine, I mean, to kind of have an idea of what, it's, what you expect it to be. Uh, I have an idea, uh -huh. but it varies so much. That's why people say watercolor is so difficult. It varies so much with the dryness in the air. Okay. with how experienced you are in the very beginning you don't you don't know how much water to put in right and you don't know when it's too wet and when it and when it's safe to go in or, or not and there's no way to teach that really except to just do it and do it and gradually it kind of gets to be an innate thing and and also to give up your expectations mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the mantra for the watercolor artist is delayed gratification. You're thinking in layers. You're thinking about, okay, later I'm going to glaze this whole leaf mm -hmm. to get it green ah. with maybe a pale blue. But right now I've got to leave that light and, and do that much later. Later okay. I'm going to do the cast shadows that have harder edges. Would you ever go back over, like, if you had this leaf mm -hmm. and you wanted it wetter to do more of the suggestions mm -hmm. with the, uh, uh, the um, complementary co color, would you wet that with clear water or would you always use a paint in it if you went back Good over question. it? Good question. I would go over with clear water. Okay. If, if I've already got the color down, mm -hmm. I'd go over it with clear water and be very careful. One, if you go over it with more paint, yeah. you're cutting out the light of the paper. Okay. Okay. So thank you. You're welcome. But right now, I'm really, really loving this, which means I'm not to adolescence yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's when life gets more difficult. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm still somewhere in infancy, really, <laughs> really enjoying it. Okay. Let's go to the next one. I think I'm going to jump into. This one back here, this very light one, it looks to me in the picture, it's in my value composition sketch, I've got it the lightest. 
so it looks to, and, it, and I, in here I see it more of a lavender. So here's where I can probably come in with some uh, Roast Matter Genuine and Cobalt Blue. Remember, those are the lightest, most transparent ones, paints we have. Okay. 